let's pause for a few moments now to, as a church family, come together in prayer. You know, in our text today, the, the author of that beautiful poem, Job, was, was writing to um, that person's society experiencing a specific issue, a particular boundary that, that the people had, had placed up in their hearts and minds. But there are many different kinds of, of boundaries. And all of us, we, we have them. We cling to them for a feeling of, of safety. But through passages like this, God tells us to, to begin to, to let those things go, that we can begin to, uh, because God is more powerful, uh, so powerful. God is able to transform the world in such a way where those boundaries are no longer needed. So let's come before that loving, compassionate God who has the power to change the world in that way. Let's come before and ask God to begin by changing us during a time of silent prayer, and then I'll continue with a pastoral prayer. Let's pray. O oh, loving and gracious God, today we, we give you thanks for, for helpful boundaries, for those uh, that work to protect and nourish us. We recognize boundaries in our lives, between us and, and others, that bless everyone richly. We pray that you'd continue to bless us and, and others within them. Yet today we pause to, to reflect upon those boundaries in our lives that, that need to be stretched. We pray that just as you helped your people in the past to do this, through stories like Job, that you'd help us as, as well. Help us to reach beyond barriers uh, that are created by our culture, our, ourselves, or, or any other source that are not helpful, barriers that exist at the expense of others that limit our ability to follow Christ faithfully. Empower us, O oh God, to stretch those boundaries so that we can serve you with wisdom and humility, sharing your grace as broadly and as fruitfully as you desire. These things we ask in the precious name of, of Christ, who allowed his boundaries, even the boundary of his own life, to be crossed for our salvation. And now we pray together as he taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Now may that powerful God follow us with his presence into our lives this week and beyond. Amen.